Well, welcome to episode four of my journey with myositis. Um, the faces thing that I've been asking for doesn't seem to be working. I may have to give up on that feature. Uh, this is going to be last week I kind of asked for faces, but I've decided to mix it up a little bit to see if we get more participation. Um, today I'm requesting faces of you or other people. Send me faces of people that are in your family. Uh, no disparaging faces, please. That's an inside joke that probably only two people will get, and I don't even know if they're watching the stream. Um, but please do send faces of you or other people to myositisjourney at gmail.com. And as I said, I, I may just give up and maybe that I'm the only one entertained by this this idea and I won't do it anymore. Um, I will, you know, we have to keep the streak, keep track of the streak that I've been topless in episode one, episode two and episode three. Maybe this is the week the toplessness ends, maybe not. Um, we're going to show you a little bit of what we were doing this past weekend. Uh, we went to Legoland, which is a theme park here, Lego based obviously, and we spent some time in the water park. So I have a little bit of footage here of what I was doing in the water park that uh, turned out to actually be pretty cool for my own made up exercises, for raising my arm and stuff. Um, we're in the pool, so will I be topless? Why not? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at some of this footage. Where is it? Is it here? Maybe it's on the side. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, we can see that in the water I was able to raise and lower the right arm. Uh, and it, was, it did feel like I was really raising it, it wasn't just floating up. So that was kind of good. I guess um, maybe I should go hang out in pools more and do some of this aqua size kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, that was Legoland. Uh, I have a quick update regarding mirrors, because you know I talk about car mirrors all the time. Well, not really all the time, but it was in episode two. And just this past weekend, we were coming home from church, and in front of us, we see someone who was not using their mirrors correctly. And we have the footage here to look at. It's on that side. Whoa! As you can see, that person was not using their mirrors correctly. You'd think for a commercial driver or a professional driver, they would know how to use their mirrors and shoulder check properly. Um, if you want to see my advice on mirrors, please click on the little card that's going to show up there to take you to episode two, where I spend far too much time talking about my car and mirrors, according to Stacy. So that's the mirror update. Um, I did also visit a cardiologist last week. Um, I have a picture here of uh, the test they did to me when I was there. Ooh, well, the streak is alive. Is that good or bad news? I don't know. Um, that's photo. I th it was some kind of a heart monitoring thing. They did a lot of stickers and wires. It was kind of fun. Um, but now to what we're going to talk about this week. So my treatment is finally settled. We have everything lined up. Um, it starts on Thursday, which is probably tomorrow because I think I'm releasing this video on Wednesday. Um, I will be starting IVIG. The nurses come to my house and I have to endure four hours of IV, IG, or were they connect me to an IV, four hours on Thursday, four hours on Friday, four hours on Saturday, and four hours on Sunday. Um, so we'll have some more discussion about that next week. But for this week, we're gonna go over some of the prep that we've been doing for the IVG treatment, IVIG treatments. Um, a bunch of stuff got shipped to my house because the treatment happens here, and we're gonna go look at all that stuff now. So off we go. So uh, you guys just look at all the boxes. There's four down here. There's a cold one upstairs. My goodness, it's so many boxes. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's start opening these boxes. See what's inside. Never thought I'd be doing unboxing videos for this, but here we are. Some kind of a clamp here, a pole clamp. So we'll be using poles for the treatment. Catheters, another catheter. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay, uh, let's do We have allergy drugs. These are, these are IV lines. Alkalines. C. Very useful. C. We got a uh, a holster. That's what it says here. We got more drugs. Uh, Tylenol. Pump. And manual. 
IV lines. Uh, and the IV start kit, I guess this is the gauze and the soft needles and thing. Good. You know, come with an EpiPen. Uh, yeah, I've never had one of these before, but I got an EpiPen as well. Seven claves external set, seven inch. I don't band aids and gauze and needles. Bunch of needles in here. Have alcohol prep pads. Another IV set. I don't know why we need so many. Hopefully, I don't use them all at the same time. This is this bunch of spike connectors. A pen in this bag. McKesson vinyl exam gloves. 100 gloves. Hopefully, we don't, again, don't use all of those at the same time. Gauze pads. Nice. These look like diapers, but I don't think they are. Under pads. Okay, I guess they are diapers. Under pad, I, whatever the under pad is for. These are like the bags, I guess, you put stuff in for an IV. IV fluid tram sets. Okay. Uh, like the syringes with no needles. Big syringes. These sharps. Recovery system, three gallon capacity. Um, for needles. Okay, yes. Pardon me. Isn't that distracting? It's a pole. I think this is a pole. So this is all of the items that I received. Pitch it, senior IV pole. Uh, and we'll see how that all that stuff goes, works together uh, next week. Whoops. Next week when I start my treatment. Great! I wonder if there are any uses for this. Practical uses. Hmm. Insulated perishable box, to see what's inside. These uh, Leatherman tools are really useful. Bunch of syringes and more syringes. It's like a mini cooler, I'm saying. Oh, got a gel pack. Packets here. They feel pretty cool. Um, just uh, just take them out. There's one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put those in the fridge here. Um, along with all this water. My arms are. One, I guess we'll put these in the fridge too. Perfect. Well, it looks like we're all set for IVIG. Um, starts tomorrow, like I said. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we'll have some more updates next week to share with you. Probably some footage of what IVIG is like. It won't be four hours long, I promise, the video. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.